Okay, so what I want to do here is take this texture and turn it into an alpha. It has a little bit easier time to control the whole bump process if I do this. So I could clone this texture out, and I could do that by going in here and just saying clone texture, and it mounts it over here. And then in here, I can take and make it into an alpha. Now what I want to do is kind of look at this. So what I'll choose to do is take and wipe out the poly paint on it. All right, now check this out. This is how you do that. You turn a texture off. I can always transfer it back. I can transfer it back and forth. I'm not really worried. Right now, here's the poly paint. And I want to be able to see stuff. So what I'm going to do is turn the texture off and fill the object. Okay. And now I can choose this as my mask. So masking, and I can say mask by alpha. Now, since that's an alpha, I can go in here, or in its masked off based upon it, I can go into the deformation palette, which is right here, and then I can choose to inflate it a few, let's say by 10 and maybe 20 more and there we go we get, we're starting to get that noise in there cool alright now I have the bumps but where's the texture well if I want to go back I can turn the texture on it adds it to the bumps if I actually wanted to transfer it back I could take this and I could go new from poly paint so I can remount this square if I wanted to but actually what I want to do is take the texture and burn it to uh, the actual model so colors from texture okay and don't forget I still have that alpha and I masked it off based upon that. So I didn't get this true color that went through. That's pretty nifty though. I, I like that because it's kind of a halftone effect there. It didn't it made like almost a t-shirt material because of that. But let's do do that one more time. There we go. Okay, and if you remember right, you know, earlier I said something like, well, you know, maybe I like this, maybe I want to uniform the color of it a little bit. So if I want to uniform the color just a little bit, maybe to a blue. Okay, I choose a blue, go in here, turn down the RGB intensity, and then I can color the object a couple times. Okay, and I can tint it blue. There we go. Nice procedural bump. A um, nice procedural texture that matches that bump. All on the same object. And that's how it's done. Alright, enjoy. And then on to the next video.